Once SAS, add-in to Microsoft Office, has been installed on your desktop, you'll notice that a new menu item appears at the top of your screen. You'll see various options for this new menu, Open Data Source, Active Data, Data Options, Analyze Data, and Reports. But the first thing we'll do is verify that we're connected to a SAS metadata server by going to Tools, Server Connections. You'll need to verify that you're connected to a metadata server that's associated with your SAS Business Intelligence or SAS Enterprise Business Intelligence software. Next, we will open a SAS data set into our Excel workbook. Go to SAS, Open Data Source, into Worksheet. We'll initiate our connection to SAS Main. The first thing you'll notice is you go to SAS Main, and you can go to any of your defined libraries. We're going to go to SAS Help, and then Choose. The other option we have to open data sources is to open uh, information maps. But remember, we can always open Excel worksheets into our uh, workbook. At this stage, you will be able to choose your variables that you want into your data set. You can choose region. You can choose multiple items by selecting the double arrows. Or you can choose all the items. Other things we can do with our data source are filter on the data table, we can add additional criteria by selecting AND or OR, we can then uh, sort on data. And we can choose various output locations. This dynamically queries the SAS dataset sashelp.shoes and pulls in the items that we're interested in. Note that a region equals Africa and product equals women's dress. When opening up large data sources, you'll note that the toolbar up above the data is enabled, and it allows you to scroll through records a certain number of records at a time. You can actually change this option by going to SAS, Options, and Number of Records to Display. We can up this to up to the Excel limit, which is approximately 65,000 records. I'll change that to 5,000 records to display at one time and click OK. What SAS does is then goes through the data set 5,000 records at a time. We can immediately jump to the next 5,000 records, or we can jump to the end of the record table. As you can see, we're at 5,001 to 10,000 records, or I can click the arrow with the end to go to end of table. It is important to note when you're opening up tables that are larger than the Excel limit, you need to utilize the SAS Analyze Data task to, to report on this data so that SAS will be the uh, engine of choice rather than Excel. If you use any of the Excel tools, such as uh, Sort, Filter, or even the Graph tools from Excel, you will only be able to use those functions with the data that's being displayed at the time. SAS OLEP cubes can also be opened within SAS Excel into a pivot chart or pivot wizard. If you select SAS Open Data Source into Pivot Table, you can choose OLAP servers and choose an OLAP cube that uh, you'd like to open into a pivot table. Here we've got a sample cube made from the shoes data. At this point, it is very similar. Uh, actually, it's identical to the pivot table wizard many Excel users are familiar with. You simply click and drag data elements into the pivot table. You'll see you've got various dimensions. You have access to um, select multiple items. You can also drill into a subsequent data.
you can filter, and you can right click on this data to refresh. It then goes out to the SAS OLAP cube and brings in the new data. The Analyze Data tab goes to a list of SAS tasks similar to SAS Enterprise Guide's task menu bar. Note that some of the items will not run uh, if SAS BI Server doesn't have the appropriate license, such as the Pareto task, as this requires SAS QC. These tasks can be removed by the administrator by manually removing the associated DIL from the installation. Also, a custom task can be added to this menu bar, and this is discussed in more detail later. These are very easy to use, included as an example for generating a bar chart. First, you'll select the display type. These are similar to uh, Excel bar charts. And then as you work through the GUI interface, you'll go down the menu bar on the left. And so we'll choose task roles next. And then we can modify the appearance. We can also change the access bars, the reference lines. We could choose to show a legend or not show a legend. We can modify the size. And we can add or change uh, titles. This is using the SAS ActiveX components, so you can double click this graph and modify it on the fly. However, these changes will not be saved when you refresh the chart. If you'd like to change this graph, go to SAS, Modify, and you can work through the changes in the GUI interface and rerun that. As this data changes, you can save your Excel workbook on uh, your machine and simply click Refresh to refresh against the data tables. As mentioned before, the SAS data options can be utilized or modified to change the number of records displayed on the screen. SAS options can also be changed uh, for the report formats. Click SAS, Options, and Results and you can change the format from SAS report to HTML or CSV. You can also change the styles. Other options on the SAB that are useful to users include showing the SAS log on the results and changing the format of graphs from ActiveX to JPEG or Java. You can also uh, decide to include SAS procedure titles or SAS program names into the comments, and you can modify the uh, or default footnotes.